matulay na dapat sanay magdudugtong sa Luzon at Visayas. Bakit nga ba hindi matutuloy? Ang estado sa planong Sorsogon Summer Link Bridge Project. Panuorin at alamin. The Philippines, an archipelago of 7,640 islands, has since been lagging in infrastructure development among Asian neighbors due to the lack of infrastructure development in the last five decades, making the cost to transport goods within the country still expensive. The 2.1 km San Juanico Bridge, which was built in 1969, is still the longest bridge in the Philippines. 50 years after. The proposed 24-kilometer Sorsogon Summer Link Bridge, a project that is set to connect Luzon to the Visayas, has long been a dream mega bridge project. The bridge would span the San Bernardino Street and connect Allen in northern Samar Province on Samar Island with Matdog on Bicol Peninsula in Sorsogon Province. For decades, roll-on roll-off ferries crossed the San Bernardino Street carrying passengers and vehicles to and from Allen Port and Matnug Port in Sorsogon. The project is seen as a permanent solution to this perennial problem of stranding during weather disturbances and port congestion during peak season. With a distance of 28 kilometers between two seaports, the average travel time is an hour and 30 minutes. Just when we thought this dream will soon become a reality, the National Economic Development Authority or NEDA said that the Sorsogon Samar Link Bridge project was found to be unfeasible in terms of economic viability and financial costs. Citing the newly completed feasibility study, the central government will need over 300 billion pesos to build a long span bridge linking Allen Northern Samar and Matnog Sorsogon. The mega bridge project also needs advanced construction technology given the deep waters and long span bridges. In 2018, the Department of Public Works and Highways has commissioned OVE Arup and Partners Hong Kong Limited, a firm that has over 40 years experience in mega transport projects, to prepare feasibility studies and detailed engineering designs for this new inter-island bridge. The feasibility study was completed in 2020. The feasibility study has identified two feasible options to construct Sorsogon Summer Link Bridge. The first is the construction of a 24km crossing bridge with an estimated cost of 284 billion pesos. Under the first proposal, the project is a four-lane cable-stayed bridge. A cable-stayed bridge has one or more towers on which cable support the bridge deck. It consists of three long span bridges, Allen to San Antonio and Northern Summer, San Antonio to Kapul in Northern Summer, and Kapul Northern Summer to Matnog Sursukun. The construction timetable is estimated to be six years. Another alternative. The second proposal is to build a 257 billion pesos deep tunnel which requires 9 years to complete based on the document released by NEDA. Both options also need improvement of ferries on both sides with an estimated budget of 25.3 billion to 71.6 billion pesos. Given the huge funding requirement equivalent to more than half the annual national budget of the DPWH and six to nine years of the construction period, this Megabridge project will not be realized under the administration of President Duterte, 
said Ernesto Octavano, head of the NEDA Eastern Visayas Project Development Investment Programming and Budgeting Division. With the completion of the feasibility study, NEDA hopes that future administrations will pursue the project since this will not just connect Samar to Luzon but also establish a better linkage between other parts of Visayas and Mindanao to the north. The Samar Sorsigun Bridge project was seen to improve accessibility, enhance productivity, reduce travel time, and boost sustainable growth in the area. This proposed long span bridge and seven other mega infrastructure projects were listed as a priority in the infrastructure preparation and innovation facility supported by the Asian Development Bank through a hundred million US dollars loan. Apart from the Sorsogon Summer Bridge, NEDA also shelved the 23 km Leyte Surigao and the 24.5 km Cebu Bohol Bridge projects. The bridges underwent research studies to determine their feasibility after they were proposed in 2017. This series of bridges will unify our main economic centers into a single weatherproof contiguous market, creating economies of scale, easier access, and decreased overheads in shipping and freight, among others. While the end goal is the connection of Mindanao and the main islands of Visayas to the Luzon markets may sound interesting, however, economic consideration is always paramount in building large infrastructure such as bridges, highways, and mass transport system. While there is some truth in the saying that build it and they'll come, but only if economic benefits weigh more than the capital investment in its annual maintenance cost. Considering there are certain places that need more immediate attention to sustain economic growth for the country. And these are Metro Manila, Cebu, Calabar Zone, and Central Luzon as these are areas where economic engine of the country is located. And with the COVID-19 pandemic still far from over and budget priorities aligned for this health crisis, it may take some time for these long dream projects to become a reality. What do you think about the Sorsogon Samar Link Bridge project? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.